Hello YouTube! Welcome back to Tuxedo Martini's channel, aka Bowman1951. Uh, back with another round of vintage pickups in a mail day for you all. So um, let's first get started here on the cards that are featured out in front of you. So this earlier this week, well let's take it back, uh, two weeks, I was at uh, another card shop and found that this guy was looking to sell his vintage collection. And the owner of the shop was only really interested in the football cards. So uh, he ended up taking the baseball home. I grabbed his phone number before he left for the day. And uh, we decided to meet up at a local mall yesterday. And I actually just sight on scene pretty much. I took a quick look at them, but um, sight on scene grabbed the entire lot of 1,200 cards for a really good deal. And sitting out in front of you are some of the highlights of what I found. So we're going to be going over uh, the remaining uh, cards in the lot that I found. Uh, but here are some of the best. So we've got a 1968 Roger Maris there on the left. Uh, Hank Aaron, uh, also a 1968 Sporting News All-Star card. And finally a 59 Al K-Line. Um, so we're probably going to show you 15 to 20 others that were in the lot. Uh, if anybody has any interest in uh, commons from the era, I've got, I think, 300 each of 59s, 60s, and 68s. And uh, the 68s I've already got on for sale, at least the, the best of the best that I could find the commons uh, on some sites. So um, hit me up if you're interested in, in probably the 59 or 60s uh, and the not as well centered 68s I'd be willing to part with as well. But before we get started on the vintage lot that I purchased, uh, we're going to go over um, two cards that I just uh, got in the mail yesterday as well. Uh, fresh out of the new PSA cases and uh, as some of you may know, I uh, collect 1951 Bowmans and I'm putting together a PSA graded set. So I'm finally moving away from the commons. Um, Approaching close to 10% of the 324 card set on the PSA registry. I'm way down the list still. And like I said, I've been mainly focusing on um, just, just commons of players. But finally picked up my first two uh, star players. And here's the first one. We've got a 1951 Yogi Berra. Eye appeal is really good. I couldn't find much wrong with it. Uh, let's take a look at the back here. It's in really good shape. I was surprised that it graded out of two, but this is not one of the cheaper cards. So, um, you know, if I had gotten a five or six, it was almost out of my price range at this point. Next up, got a Larry Doby, graded out of three and a half. This one's got, um, I think they had gum in the packs back then. Got an issue um, with a, at least a stain there on the top. Otherwise, another great card and uh, already added to my PSA set. I'm about to take you over to the sorting table in my living room. Uh, I haven't even sleeved up the cards that I got yet. Uh, it's only been about 24 hours uh, since I got everything. I've been slowly sorting through it, but continue to find gems which are gonna go through. And uh, let's take a, a trip over there. Okay, so what we've got here are the 1200 or so vintage pickups I had today. I will not be going through every single one of these cards, obviously, but I just want to give you an idea. Uh, between 59 and 68 were the years. Uh, ended up with almost 468s. Uh, I think around 359s, and they were scattered in between from there. But uh, we'll be showing you the best of the best from this lot here. And I uh, can't wait to go through all of these and eventually get those uh, that can be graded uh, sent out. I'm thinking probably at least 50 to 100. Uh, we'll be going out so hey, you can see a few uh, stars are shining through there but for the most part they are commons and I just got such a great deal on these um, guy just wanted to get rid of his cards and I was happy to oblige okay so now that you got a very brief look at all the stacks of cards that I had to go through uh, it took me a few hours the other day but uh, it is done and uh, I continued to find some gems, so we're going to go through those right now. Um, let's start with this 1960 Bill Mazeroski. I'm going to sound like an idiot, but I think he hit the shot heard around the world, if I'm not mistaken, for the Pirates. 
back up to 1968. This is miscut, but otherwise in decent shape. Got the Sporting News All-Star Selection, Bob Gibson. And one of my favorite players, a little Yaz action. Great shape as well. Now, you've got one of these right out in front of you, uh, which is a little blurry in terms of um, Maris's face. There was a printing error. This one I ended up with two in the lot. This one's in much better shape here. Probably sending it out to PSA at some point, but it's sharp all around, perfectly centered. And I'm in love with this card. I've always wanted a Maris card. I never actually owned one, so I'm happy to finally have one in my collection. Well, right now two. Hoping to sell the other one. This one is not in as good a shape. So I'll start card for Maris. But happy to get one in a Yankees uniform this time. Got a 1959 Eddie Matthews. Way off center. Otherwise in okay shape. That one's not going to PSA. Now the next few, um, we basically started out uh, with a little teaser and we're getting into the better cards. So this one goes hand in hand with one you just saw, as well as some that you're about to see. Fence busters of Hank Aaron and Eddie Matthews. Another Hank card. Got creases, unfortunately. So not a PSA candidate. Still nice to have. This one's beautiful. Great shape all around. Tell me if the centering is okay. It's hard to tell since there's no um, border on the left. And these are weird too. They're not really numbered. They like make a puzzle. I had no idea until I started looking at them. But they all look like this on the back. So I have no clue what that. Uh, picture ends up being at the end if anybody wants to uh, let me know in the comments and another beauty here now this I didn't have many cards outside of 59 60 and 68 but this was one of them uh, it's got a little surface damage other than that uh, a little off center as well but uh, this one's definitely ending up on my PC for life I got two of these. They were not in the best shape, unfortunately. But uh, another Willie to add to the collection. Probably not a PSA candidate. You can see that corner there is pretty rough shape. Focus this here. Continuing on with some more Willies. Richie Ashburn, one of my favorites as well. Uh, probably own a good 10. Ashburn cards myself. Look at that lower left corner. Not in the best shape there. Now, this card here, I had gone through what I thought was every single card. I may have gone through them a little too quickly the first time around, but, you know, I pulled out the stars that I knew and what I had found, and then randomly I just started to do a better sorting job a second time around and came across this beauty. Now, for the most part, it is a beauty, except for why somebody wrote 100 on there in the middle of his left shoulder is beyond me. Uh, pretty upsetting. Uh, it does look like it's in pencil. I'm going to get some uh, special eraser rub to attempt to get rid of that. We'll see how it ends up afterwards. I may even make a video on how to clean up baseball cards. I've been doing a little research after I found that like that, but beautiful maze uh, otherwise. And this one's in pretty good shape. Probably a PSA candidate. Stan the man, usual. Take a look at the back there as well. Okay, and last but not least, the last two 68s here. Got Pete Rose. Wonderful corners. A uh, little issue going on in the top there. I don't know what that white line is coming across the top. I've never really seen that before, but otherwise, beautiful corners and in great shape. And finally, the card I got most excited for. Now, if this grades out to maybe, I'm hoping for a seven, let's say a six for now. 
Another 1968, the gem of my entire find in this vintage lot of a 1,200 cards. Here she is. The Johnny Bench rookie, 1968. Absolute stunner, other than slightly off center. Really holding out hope for a seven. Uh, probably end up like a six. It's going in the mail tomorrow to PSA. I'm doing a one card submission, which I've never done before, but I think it's worth, worth it to get this slabbed and it'll probably immediately end up on the market somewhere. So if you have any interest in purchasing this, uh, I can give an update once it comes back from PSA uh, or you can message me uh, to let me know you might uh, want this, but it's a beauty all around. Okay, so that's the last card that I wanted to show you tonight. Uh, what do I have on the docket? Uh, not too much coming around. I'm off to Florida next week, so won't be buying any cards probably in the next two weeks or so, so I'll probably be taking a little break with my uh, videos unless I decide to uh, rub down that maze and see what I can do with it. But uh, again, thanks for watching. Appreciate all the support and love, and I'm enjoying everybody's other videos that are out there. Ray from Philly. Uh, Saras. Silver Jackify, I love his videos too. His collection is amazing, but um, yeah, just uh, really getting into the vintage, loving everything that I find here. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Take care.